Hello guys, this is Drive Test Jig, and we are right now in Barry Drive Test Center. I'm gonna walk you through G2 Road Test for Barry Drive Test Center. So, as you can see, there's a lot of people lined up there. It's all because of the COVID-19 restrictions. Before you can go in, they have to check your temperature, make sure everything is good before you can go in. So after checking your temperature, then you go inside to sign in. Make sure you have your driver's license with you. When you finish, you come in. You come out to just sit in your vehicle, wait for the examiner. When the examiner hops in, he's gonna do safety check on the vehicle and ask you a few questions about COVID. Make sure you respond no. Then when he hops in the vehicle, he will tell you to turn left or he will tell you to turn right. So we're gonna make a left turn here. So as you're turning left, maintain your lane to the right. It's a two way traffic. You can go around 20 to 25 kilometer per hour here. Then we make a left turn here. So check right, check left, make sure you are safe, then you go. Then we turn right here. So you signal to the right, keep to the right. Slow down, check left, make sure you are safe. Watch out for oncoming vehicles. Proceed when it's safe. <laughs> so you pick up your speed right away the speed limit is 50 km per hour here make sure you check your blind spots your mirrors anytime you are making turns and check your mirrors every five to ten seconds so there's a stop sign coming up. It's always stop. He's going to tell you to turn right. So we're going to make a right turn here. Stop completely. First come, first serve. So let's proceed when it's safe. Speed limits here, change lane to the right. So remember the lane is gonna change into two lanes, so you keep to the right. This light coming up is gonna tell you to turn right. signal to the right and this is called veterans drive this is called veterans drive we have a yellow so we treat it as a red light and make a complete stop for three seconds creep a bit check the left side make sure you are safe proceed when it's safe keep to the right it's a two lanes then pick up the speed limit here is 60 then change lane to the left he's gonna tell you to change lane to the left Turn left here. So at the next exit, he's gonna tell you to turn left. Make sure you enter through the white broken lines and make sure you have scanned your blind spot and make sure you are safe. This road is called Keen Road or Keen Street. In street. So 
so speed limit here is also 50 you pick up your speed a little bit and go exactly 50 be asked to make uphill parking anywhere around here so let's make uphill parking here signal to the right check your blind spot and go close to the curb watch out for fire hydrants and driveways okay. when you are moving signal to the left make sure you are safe Proceed when it's safe. be asked to make a 3.10 anywhere around here so let's make a 3.10 here you signal to the right make sure you have scanned your blind spot and go close to the cab Good. we finish our 3.10 then he's gonna tell you to make a quick left turn at this exit so we're gonna turn left here as you're turning make sure you maintain your lane to the right Anywhere around here, you could be asked to make a parallel parking. So you could be asked to use any vehicle here. So let's, let's use this vehicle to make a parallel parking. So you signal to the right. Signal to the right. Then change the gear. I have para parking videos in my in my videos you can double check and make sure that you'll be able to know how to make a para parking properly good so we finish our para parking you put it into parking you lift your handbrake up then he's gonna tell you to proceed so let's proceed when it's safe so you're gonna scan your blind spot make sure you are safe then at the light he's gonna tell you to turn right so you keep to the right side since there's a room there we can use the right lane to turn right this is a red light so we make a full stop behind the white light first then creep the vehicle a little bit to check the left side. Make sure you are safe. When it's safe, proceed. We have vehicles proceeding from the other side. So make sure you are safe before you can proceed. So you keep to the right. Speed limit here is 60.
gonna tell you to make a quick right turn on Veterans Drive. So we create a room for this guy, signal to the right. Yeah, compromise with people on the road. He was already in there. We have a red light, so we just have to give him the right of way to proceed. And we're gonna turn right here. This road is called Veterans Drive. to the right and pick up the speed it's 60 km per hour here <laughs> you could be asked to change lanes anywhere around here so we'll change lane to the left change lane to the right Then again to the left. So this light coming up is gonna tell you to turn left. So we signal to the left and make sure you enter through the broken white lines. If there's long traffic, you can enter through the broken yellow line. This road is called Commons Park Drive. Make sure you enter without touching the yellow line. Then you change lane to the right. Speed limit here is 50. When you change lane to the right, the road coming up is going to be closing. So quickly change lane to the left again. If he ask you why did you change lane, then you can tell him the lane was closing. That is why you change the lane. stop sign coming up he's gonna tell you to turn left so you enter through the white lines the white broken lines make sure you scan your blind spot and you're safe to enter and this is our way make sure you enter without touching the yellow line which is your lane So this road will lead you back to the test center. You are almost done with your G2 test. gonna tell you to turn left here so you can enter through the broken line signal to the left and enter through the broken line which call it center lane and slow down watch out for any oncoming traffic and proceed and maintain your lane to the right then we'll turn right here So he can tell you to make a front parking anywhere around. So let's make a front parking beside the silver vehicle. So this is the end of the G2 route number one for Barry.
we're gonna walk you through the G2 number two. So we're gonna walk you through the route number two. You can follow this route number one step. So right away, we're gonna signal to the right and turn to the right. As you are turning, make sure you maintain your lane to the right. We see one vehicle backing up, so we have to be patient. Wait for the vehicle to clear your way before you proceed. And as you are turning, keep to the right. It's a two-way traffic. Then we're gonna make a quick right turn here. Scan your left and right, make sure you are safe proceed when it's safe then he's gonna tell you to turn left so we're gonna turn left on Brian Drive be extra careful here because Brian Drive is a major road so take your time and make sure that you have a good spot before you can proceed. Let's proceed when it's safe. Speed limit here is 50. If there's traffic, drive according to the situation. We see some construction, so you can merge on the left side. Then when you pass the construction, change lane and go back to your lane to the right. So the lights coming up, he's gonna tell you to turn left. So you signal to the left, make sure you have scanned your blind spots. And here we have a left arrow telling us to proceed. The left change to yellow, so we have to wait. So we have green now, we proceed to the middle or the center lane. And we proceed when it's safe. Keep to the left. You keep, you pick up your speed a little bit. Change lane to the right again. And change lane to the right. limit here is 60 so change lane to the left the left again
again to the right. Change lane to the right again. And uh, this light is gonna tell you to turn right. So this is Essa Road. facing a yield sign here so we yield right away to any oncoming traffic light is gonna tell you to turn left so we'll make a left turn here enter through the white dot but this road is calling road This area is a residential area so you could be asked to make 3.10 uphill downhill anywhere around this area so this stop sign will turn left this is an all-way stop sign This road is called M's Drive. So let's make a downhill parking anywhere around here. When you finish, make sure you signal to the left and scan your blind spot and make sure the road is safe before you proceed. This is an all-way stop. First come, first serve. Let's make it 3.10 anywhere around here too. Could be asked to make a 3.10 here. Keep going straight. So the stop sign coming up is gonna tell you to turn right, and that will take you back to the test center. So this is our way. You make a complete stop behind the white line. First come, first serve. up your speed the speed limit here is 50 at 
this light is gonna tell you to turn right. So you're driving, watch out for pedestrians. So we'll make a quick right turn here. We are back on Asa Road. Keep to the right and change lane to the left. The road is closing, so you maintain your lane to the right and change it to the left. The lights coming up, he's gonna tell you to turn left. So you signal to the left and make sure you check your blind spot before you enter the left lane. And this is called Maple Drive West, Maple View Drive West. Make sure you scan very well and we are facing the left hand. The arrow is telling us to go. So green arrow means proceed right away. And maintain your lane to the left lane, which is the passing lane, and change lane to the right. So you're gonna change lane to the right and again to the right to go to the driving lane. And the speed limit here is 60. Every 5 to 10 seconds, make sure you scan your mirrors. gonna tell you to turn right on Bryan Drive this is gonna take you all the way back to the test center so you signal to the right to the right and quickly change lane to the left because the road is closing
turn right back to the test center slow down and maintain your lane to the right and make a quick left turn so you're gonna be asked to make a reverse parking anywhere around here since you never did parallel parking so let's make a reverse parking yeah I have reverse parking also in my video so you can double check and make sure you are making a proper reverse parking you have to do a lot of practice on that and make sure you are doing a proper reverse parking So this is the end of route number one and route number two for G2 route or G2 test route in Berry. Thank you for watching this video and I do appreciate all your views. Expect more videos to come.